Events started during the period when e-commerce started, and it was a big change in the logistical industry because in the past, the logistics companies, they had to pick and pack for retail shops. So they went with pallets, roll containers, and they were looking for a lot of goods that they had to combine together. And with e-commerce, suddenly, you have every individual order is just one piece or two pieces. And the traditional way of working, running around in a warehouse, was not realistic anymore. What we were looking for is how can we organize things on a small footprint and how can we keep things scalable? And the RMS system is indeed exactly doing that. So traditionally, if you want to build a warehouse, you have to define where do my conveyor lines go? You have to define all the stations where it has to go because once you have built, you can never change it again. At events, we thought, and how can we change this? How can we do it differently? And we looked at two key components. The first component was, how can we bring the goods towards the people, towards our people that are picking and packing? That was a big change, and that's the solution we looked at, the auto store solution. That was number one. And the second part was, how can we package those goods more efficiently? And that's when we also looked at uh, Grey Orange Solution, which was part of that uh, second journey. Another few benefits that we have seen is um, the uh, picking uh, accuracy has increased. So that is a real big thing for our customers, so our customer satisfaction. The other thing, which is very good for the operations in, in a sense, is that before we had to work with picking waves, creating batches of orders, then doing this all this work. And while we're now working with this new system, is every order is its own, uh, its own thing. So before we had pick waves that took, let's say two to three hours before they were all processed. Um, today, we get orders in from our customers they are processed within one minute into our servers. And in a matter of like 10 minutes, it comes on the closing line to be closed and sorted to the carrier. Uh, so the lead time from the initial intake from the order to the output of the parcel is a, is a matter of 10 or 15 minutes. Where before this was taking two, three, sometimes four hours. In respect to efficiency, to taking the whole uh, the whole flow into consideration. What well, we have seen that in the past when we're doing things in a different way than today, of course, um, is that the total efficiency uh, that we have now taken is about 60% on the overall process. We had a lot of people running around, going for orders, picking, doing uh, packing of parcels. Today we have the RMS system. We have the robots, they run around for us. So people are stationary at the workstation, the picker will put it inside the box which is on top of the RMS robot. The RMS will come from the pick station and will go to the closing line. From the closing line it will then go to the chutes so that we can sort by carrier. That's a whole different way of working uh, altogether. So another key element for us as a company is continuous improvement. With the artificial intelligence, software is getting better so we can also get better and faster solutions. But just to give an example, we had, during a lot peak last year, we had a lot of volume. And one of our packaging machines broke down and we had all those gray orange robots, they were almost creating a traffic jam and they were getting in each other's way. At that stage, we had some brainstorm sessions uh, in the afternoon with gray orange, so how can we solve this? And they found the solution software, just on a software, is that instead of creating a big traffic jam, after every four robots, they created some space so that all the robots could pass through. So suddenly, with that solution, we didn't only solu solve a peak solution, but that solution today is also used now to have a better crossing of robots, meaning a more efficient solution in general with the robots that we currently have.
we are growing very fast. Eh? So last year we grew more than 25% and our solution attracts customers. When customers arrive over here, they immediately see the solution, they see, they see the possibilities and they see a solution that they can't develop themselves because our type of customers are medium to small customers, e-commerce, web shops. They don't have the money to invest in a technical solution that we have. When they come to us, they see the possibilities and they are happy after it with the service because our solution is very qualitative. During peaks, I explained during peaks, we can easily scale up. We can provide them a relying service. Also during the most important period of our customers is in peak. And a, 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 another element is the, the growth of our customers. Our customers are growing with Grey Orange, with adding robots, we can support their growth. Not only here in a site, but also internationally serving them the same solution again in different countries. There were three key elements. First of all, with the Grey Orange solution, you have less transportation in the warehouse, less transportation movements means less unuseful people movement and cost. That was key topic number one. Second topic is we're in a 20,000 square meter warehouse. We want to grow towards 10 million e-commerce orders a year, but we are not there from the start. With Grey Orange, we were able to scale our investment gradually. So we start with only a couple of robots. We grow and the number of robots will grow together with us. And the third topic is about uh, fixed costs compared to variable costs. It's software. So the fixed, the fixed costs are very low. Adding more robots, it's variable costs. And that is an important one in e-commerce where you grow. Big change for us is in the past, people were running around. Now the RMS is running for us. And this is exactly the reason why we have selected this solution.